Ready. Saludos Costa Rica Reggae Massive, estamos acá en Club Vértigo, tenemos el honor de tener a nuestro lado al rey del fuego de Kino Falla, Capriton, que tenemos la bendición de tenerlo nuevamente acá en San José, Costa Rica. So Capriton, welcome once yeah, again yeah, to this country, your country, yeah, Rasta Rica. Más fuego, you know? Yeah man, yeah more man. Fire, more fire. Más fuego, más fuego, así que es un honor para nosotros tenerlo por acá y vamos a hacer una pequeña entrevista para que nos hable un poquito de su historia, de cómo siente la vibra, de cómo se va a llevar a cabo este concierto. So, thank you very much for being here. Yeah, man. Thank you for your message, for your music, yeah. for your history, what you're doing on reggae music. Yeah. Yeah. Been done, doing, I'm doing, yeah, still going. doing okay? right, so, yeah. thank you very much for yeah, that. Man. We want to know more about Capitan. Uh, we already know a lot of things, but people want to know. Yeah. First, how was uh, your childhood? Uh, we know that you have to move from St. Mary very young yeah. and uh, start on music on the 80s. Then on the yeah. 90s, you have a chance with uh, African Star. Right, so, right, right, right. so you can let us know a little bit about Capitan before Capitan. Uh, well, right well, growing up, you know, you know, we grow, we grew up on the plantation, you know, with the slave masters, you know, in in the country, you know what I mean. You know, lifestyle, you know, in the country, you know, as I'm saying, you know, you, you want to be somewhere where you can get that opportunity, you know what I mean? So after after leave leave from you know country to Kingston, you know, to stay amongst family. But as I say, you know, um it, it's pretty much you know, um, um living physical and mental slavery, you know, growing up in the country, you know yeah. what I mean? But you know, when we went to the city you know, it's an next struggle again, you know what I mean? Because, you know, food have to eat and, you know, we have to be on the street, you know. You know, we go to different, different studios, you know what I mean? Trying to find producers, you know what I mean? To, yeah. eat, to, to hear our, our stuff, so, you know, and, you know, go around a lot of sound system until I become, like, the champion for a particular sound system. Because, you know, in Jamaica, like, most of the top artists, like, you know, like, like you know, Peter Metro would be the star for Metro Media, you know what I mean? Um, and then you would have like Black Star, and you would have like Brigadier and Tiger. You know, Brigadier would be the champion. You know what I mean? Then you know you have Welton Ivory that would be you know Gemini. Then you have Black Scorpio that would be like, um, General Trees. You know what I mean? Then you know you have um, Stero One that would be Lieutenant Stitchy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you have Creation that would be Papa Sun. So African <laughs> Star will come. You know, here you time. Be yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know? You, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. You know, um, moving along and, you know, you know, um, doing our things here, we're going in the street, you know what I mean, after traveling, you know, um, trucks with the, with that carry the sound, you know, we have to lift up the amp, you know, we have to, you know, lift up boxes, you know, you, you, you know what I mean, just to get a chance, you know, to even get the opportunity to, you know, let the people hear our voice, you know what I mean, so, you know, um, got hooked up with African Star and, you know, start to travel. You know, before I even do a professional recording, you know what I mean? So, um, you know, I got um, Ninja Man, you know, who was one of my artists at, at the time. You know, me and him and Shabba Rams so went to a dance. This was like um, 1989, the 1st of January. You know, we went to DJ and African Star Sound System. And you know, it was a great vibe, you know, I sing a particular lyrics, you know, and Ninja Man happened, you know, to, to take the style. You know, and um, after he took the style and he do like, you know, he, he did my song and he put another song, someone else's song, because tonight he didn't get to get the, all of the lyrics, you know what I mean? So he'd have to actually put someone else's lyrics. So he actually took two person songs with melody to really make that big hit, big hit. The, the first one was mine. Long to release, long to release, long to release. Yeah, the, yeah the, I was the one, I was the creator for that one, you know what I mean? And then. He, he did like maybe six or seven songs in the same melody. Cause he said, glad, glad me release, glad me release. And then he said, pedal on wheel, pedal on wheel. And then he said, under your love, under your love. You, you know what I mean? So, um, he, I went to his house to, to do a performance and, and he, he introduced me to Fattis Borel. You know what I mean? Which I do give thanks, you know, for that introduction. You know what I mean? Cause after I introduced me to Fatis and introduced to Fatis and Fatis said, yeah, you know, uh, bad artist, you know what I mean? Bring him to the studio, make we hear where my band then, you know what I mean? Went to the studio, link up with Fatis and, you know, Fatis, you know, call in the, magic. yeah, it's magic. <laughs> he called him Firehouse Band, which is, you know, Sizzler Band. And, um, you know, I was there vibing and they were building the beat and building the beat and, you know, vice and, but it was a nice dilemma again because, you know, this was like the first hardcore 
song ever came out on an exterminator label, you know what I mean? And you know, Fatis didn't want to put out the song because it's, it's a hardcore, you understand? So he had some youth in New York, you know, who, who do some, who did the distribution at the time. So the youth them told him to send the song and, you know, when he got the song and he released the song and you know, the youth them released the song and, you know, the song took off and, you know what I mean? You know, the rest is history, you know? reach a death jam, you know what I mean? But, you know, music is just a struggle. You know, you just have to know what you want. You know, you just have to really be confident in yourself, you know what I mean? You just have to can't be able to withstand, with L, you know, the pressure cause, you know, it's no better road, you know what I mean? Like how people may look at it and think music is an easy thing and, you know, you have to be ordained, you know what I mean? You have to be born to do this, you know, you have to be cut out for it, you know what I mean? And you have to, it's not about the hype or, you know, the popularity or, the, you know, the publicity or the money or the fame. It's all about, you know, the love for it, to have that passion for the music, you know. So, you know, we give thanks for the strength and the energy, you know. We ask the Almighty every day for, you know, health and strength, you know, so give it so we can carry on, you know what I mean? We know how powerful reggae music is, you know, what it does to people and how it helps people, you know, throughout their stress and their problem and their tribulation and their trials, even systematically through the system, how they have been oppressed and suppressed by the system. You know, this is the music that, you know, give them hopes and give them courage and, you know, tell them that, you know, a greater day they're ahead of you, you know what I mean? Just, you know, be strong, be wise, be focused, you know, have a goal, know what you want, have a direction, you know, go forward for it. You, you know what I mean? Don't, don't worry about the turmoil and the obstacles and the stumbling block because, that, that is a part of the struggle, you know what I mean? So, you know, in Jamaica I would say, you know, the art of the battle, you know, the sweet of the victory, you know what I mean? We're still going to stand up and fight. We're going to fight for equal justice, equal rights and justice, you know, we're going to fight for salvation. We're going to fight for redemption, repatriation, you know what I mean? We're going to fight against racism, sexism, you know what I mean? Immorality, we're going to fight against injustice, you know what I mean? Death without dignity, exploitation, name it. It goes on. That's why this music is so powerful and people will always gravitate to this music because, you know, this music speaks for the less fortunate. And, you know, with some someone somewhere in the world, you know, um, I've been through, you know what I mean, the troubles and the trial and you know what I mean? So so this music speaks for them, you know what I mean? This music is the voice of the people, you know what I mean? So it's a joy for me do, to do I love what I do, you know what I mean, I love the people because you know, you know, it's the fans that make it happen, you know what I mean? Without the people then you know you are nothing, you know what I mean? And you know, with the power of the Almighty and you know, with the love and the joy and you know, with the humility and the discipline and the tolerance and the diligence, you know what I mean? And, you know, and the simplicity, cause, you know, you have to be humble, you know, you have to be within yourself, you have to, it, it, it cannot be like, you know, the world is revolved around you and it's all about you, you have to remember you alone can make up the world, you know what I mean? That's why we have family, you know what I mean? That's why the system will always try to destroy the family. Separate. Yeah, to separate the family, have the family fighting against each other, encouraging murder among themselves because they know say, unity is definitely strength. So that's why we always preach unity in the music and tell the people say, to be unified. You know, the more united we are, then the more stronger we get. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you, that you touch uh, that specific topic, sound system. Yeah. Sound killers yeah. and dub plates. Yeah, man. That's uh, history that comes Way back, way from back, the way 40s. back. Yeah, yeah, from the we 40s. We can talk about Doug B yeah. and uh, Cox and Dot and yeah, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, right now, it's getting bigger again. Yeah, for real. And around time. the world. But yeah, what do you think about the sound system culture going on? Do you think it's better but going through sound system culture or going through the musical market that is going on right now? Because the musical market. That's social media. Music. Yeah, more than social media, I think. Like the market is going on oh, right now good. with the music, okay. and it, it's, it has a different way as a reggae roots, right? Yeah, yeah, reggae yeah, yeah. has a message. Usually on the market, they need something that with no message. They need something like sticky, and uh, the people can get it. What do you think is better? It's more sound system, or it's better for the message going through a big market and, and well, get to the well, people? Well, well, whichever way, no. Remember, remember, tour was one of the biggest remixes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> that ever came out of Jamaica. I'm coming from Jamaica, go up and go on tour. You see me, I say? And, um, hold up, wait, up. that was like a, a household song in America, you know, the beat, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, if, if, if it's R&B, if it's whatever, as long as the people is getting the message, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, we, we can stray from our original sound system, you know what I mean? Because that's what made it, you know what I mean? That's, 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 that's the, the root and the roots. And you can stray from the roots and you can stray from the roots, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
But uh, talking about your first uh, songs on the 90s, like Arms House, yeah. uh, then uh, we go as uh, Music is a Mission. Mission is competition. You know, That's you, the you, message you, yeah, we man. need on reggae music right now. I well, think. most definitely, you know what I mean? As I said, you know, I will always, you know, do what is right, you know what I mean, and you know what I mean, send the right message, you know, because that's what people want to hear, you know what I mean? And as I said, the message is really the ultimate part of it. You know, because even when you travel the world and we go out there, you realize that it's the, it's the authentic music, it's the music that is saying something to change people's life or to make people a better person in terms of their liberty and, you know what I mean, in terms of how they see life and, you know, their perception towards life. You know, this is the music that they depend on. So we know that the message is definitely, you know, the, the ultimate and the message is definitely what we need to push, you know what I mean? I was like the first artist who put like, you know, culture and dance I'll beat in a certain fashion that people could even believe. When I come and say, no man tell them what do, no man tell them what we are profit. Then, you know what I mean? United we stand and divided we fall. Then I'm gonna know themselves, tell them back again, say, well, let's name arms out. We know what, you know what I say? Yeah, and it it it, it. And, you know, and people gravitate to it. People never know, you know what I mean? I'm like one of the first, you know, DJs who, who put like, 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 Nye Binge. In, in, in the in dance hall beat, you know what I mean? For real, and you know, people sketch on and people gravitate, so, you know, it works, you know what I mean? Players of instrument and musician, you know what I mean? All of my springs are within D, you know what I mean? So it's words, sound and power, you know what I mean? And I said, you know, music alone shall live, never die, you know what I mean? Music is life. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah there is a specific question on every interview for you, yeah. but we want to let Costa Rica know yeah. when you talk about burn and fire. Yeah, and fire, right? And fire. Yeah. What are you telling? We already know, but we know to let the Costa Rica regular yeah, massive. Yeah. Well, that it's something metaphoric, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not a specific thing. No, about no, it's not a, it, Yeah, it's not a literal fire. It, 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 is, it is metaphorical. And, um, you know, the fire comes through words, it comes through sound, you know what I mean? It comes through power. It comes to you, you know, um, not stoop into the limitation in Babylon or accept the stripping of the royalty and say, yes, it is all good. You know, the fire is here to fight against injustice, inequality, manipulation, death without dignity, exploitation, racism, sexism, name it, incest, you know, name it, and it goes on and on, you know what I mean? So when we say fire, it's not a literal fire like you're telling someone to go out there and burn someone or burn down the place. Or no, it's all about being yourself. Know who you are, know where you're coming from in order to know where you're going. It's all about, you know, indulging love, you know what I mean? Unity, strength, peace, you know what I mean? Um, when we say fire, um, whichever way you want to see fire from, fire is, is the ultimate force because, you know, um, if you see it from a you know, biological point of view, you see it from a geographical aspect, you know what I mean? If you see it from a natural aspect, you know, biblical, whichever way you see it, fire is really the ultimate force, you know what I mean? So it is not literally, you know what I mean? Bob Marley tell us, uh, they can take everything, but one thing they can take from us is the fire, the fire that burn within, you know, that internal fire, that, that spiritual fire, you know? You know, that fire of love, that fire of unity, you know what I mean? That fire of strength, that fire of good energy and good vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice. Um, we're coming from dance house to roots right now, right? right. We're yeah. uh, trying, uh, I don't know if you're trying like to get back to roots or yeah. you're still mixing. Or, well, well, what's def- next on Capitan regarding the specific well, roots or dance house? Well, both, 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 both yeah, roots and dance house. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? We're not change, we're not leave dance house. We because we still, yeah, because we still put the message through the dance hall, see, man, through the beat, and the people will, 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 will feel nice and they will dance and they will jump and they will wave, but they will still get that message, yeah, you know what I mean? So, you know, we still have the roots and, you know, we still have a dance hall. It not change, you know what okay. I mean? The, 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 the ultimate is, is, the, is, is the message reaching the people and the people getting the message. That's what counts, that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? Nice. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice. yeah. I have here that from Dennis Brown to Beres Hammond, Everton Benda, Warrington Levy, the same God, Father Alton Ellis, Michael Rose, you know right, me, yeah. told you to sing, not to DJ. But, well, I like how you DJ. Yeah. People like how, how you, you DJ, sing, but also like your singing, singing is yeah, awesome. Singing, singing so is skill, you know what I mean? Why you rather, singing or DJing? <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up, I grew up, I grew up, um, um, singing in the church, you know what so, I mean? I was singing in the choir as well, you know what I mean? I love singing, yeah, definitely. As I said, you know, most of the, the, the top singers, you know, who pass away, hope their soul rest in peace, and who is presently here today, you know what I mean? All of them told me to sing. You know, when they, when they hear my vocals and, you know, their range, and they must say, no, wow, you know what I mean? But, you know, I love singing, you know what I mean? I have a passion for it, you know what I mean? That's why I sing, you know, but I also love the DJ as well, you know what I mean? And I still have a passion for it, that's why, you know, I DJ. So it's a balance, you know. Yeah, so it's a balance.
hands, you know what I mean? They work like they come together, it come like the, the, the spiritual and the physical. None cannot manifest without none, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man. For the people, you can explain a little bit the difference between singing and DJing because most of the people here in Costa Rica think DJ as a, the guy who plays the music, but specifically in no, Jamaica, no, no, DJing is. No, it's, it's like the same rap. You know what I mean? It's like the same rap, and you know what I mean? DJ. Um, um, and singing, singing, in, 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 singing is, is soul. You know what I mean? Singing is soul. It's, it, it's melody. You know what I mean? DJ, it's, it's like a rap. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you know, like a poet. You know what I mean? But singing is, is, is soul. It, 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 you know what I mean? That feel, that energy. You know what I mean? Like a bird. You know? Nice. Yeah. I have a nice quote from an interview you had also. It says, I have seen my mom treat others' mother's kids like her own. Yeah. There are a few mothers that do that. Yeah. That's something pretty uh, rough, straight to the heart yeah. for me, and I'm pretty sure for the regular people, yeah, yeah. what it means, mom, for Captain. Yeah, moms mean, yeah. Ev moms mean everything, you know what I mean? Because, you know, she is the womb, you know, um, without she, then, you know, there would be no procreation, you know what I mean? She responds for the birth, you know what I mean? So. Mom mean everything to me, you know what I mean? And as I said, um, as, a, as a quote, you know, growing up as a kid and, you know, I see how my mom parent each other's, you know, other, other people's children, other people's child, you know what I mean? It, it is so, you know, overwhelming, it is so, you know, that, that affection, you know what I mean? That, you know, that soul, you know, it, it, it's, it's definitely a joy for me, you know what I mean? To see how, you know, she really treated, you know, other kids. And maybe that is what we need within this time and this dispensation, you know, we need to parent each other's children so we can have a better world and, you know, better future for the youth and, you know, can have a better nation, you know what I mean? We have, we have to look out for each other, you know what I mean? And look, especially the youth, you know, so, so if you're in the street and you see someone children behaving, you know, disorderly and you know, out of context, then, you know, you have to school them, you know what I mean? You know, if you murder them, you know, if you kill them, you know, if you abuse them, but, you know, you have to show them the right way and make them know that, you know, this is the part you're supposed to take and, you know, this is what you're supposed to do and this is what you're supposed to not do and, you know, this that is not the way you, how you're supposed to conduct yourself and, you know, um, you know, um, as you have to, you have to know what you want, you know, you have to know what is best for you and, um, you have, you have to know right from wrong, you know, you have to know good from bad, you know what I mean? Even though at the end of the day, you know what I mean, you have to know that good will always prevail over evil. Good will always triumph over evil, you know what I mean? So, you know, try to be on the good side at all times, you know what I mean? You know, the, the, you know, the body is there to tempt you, you know what I mean? Yeah. To distract you and, and deter you, but you just have to know that. You just have to be within you, you just have to know that, you know, that is there to make you know, to know who you're really supposed to be or who you're supposed to be or who are you, you know what I mean? So, you know. We just there, you know, we give, I would say we give thanks to mom again, you know what I mean, and give thanks to all the moms, you know, you know what I mean, who make civilization possible, you know what I mean, because without a womb there would be no birth, yeah. and without a birth there would be no procreation, so, you know what I mean, so, you know, we do give thanks again, so bless up mama, you know, okay. more love and more blessing, you know what I mean? Nice, yeah, nice. Man. Music is a powerful tool, yeah. really powerful, uh, but right now we're not well, the world is not getting the right message, I think. Or the music is not sending the right yeah, message. Yeah, maybe the music is not, maybe, maybe the music is not reaching, you know what I mean, to, yeah, there's a system that designs, you know what I mean, but at the end of the day, as I said before, good will always prevail over evil, you know what I mean, they will always try to fight the good music and they will always try to push the bad music, you know what I mean, because, you know, it's all about evil, it's all about blood sacrifice, it's all about destruction, but, you know, people have to know, you know, youth have to know, you know, as artists and as musicians, you know, um, you just have to try to send that message, you know what I mean? Because it depends on you, you know, it's your advice, the people depend on So if you listen to you, you know, whichever way you lead them, they will follow. Whichever part you send them, they will go musically, you know what I mean? So you just have to know, you just have to sing the right thing, you know. And as I said, you know, good people wondering and say, is, is, is good music still making? Of course, good music is still making. A good, good musician and good artist is still there doing their thing, you know what I mean? But they are not getting the exposure. You know, enough that what they're supposed to get, you know, there, there are certain medium that, you know, will try to, you know, hold back a certain music and a certain message because it is what it, it, it is doing and, you know, in terms of the message and in terms of, you know, how it, it will fight against 
the system systematically and what the system does to oppress and suppress the people, you know what I mean, the corruption and the injustice and the inequality, and name it and it goes on, you know what I mean, but, you know, good music still make and good music is still here and, you know what I mean, we're going to always have good music, you know, so we just have to tell the people who control that medium, you know, that platform, you know what I mean, to push the good music, you know what I mean, That's push it for the people because it, 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 it's, it's a collective thing, you know what I mean. You know, so it's a musician, it's a promoter, it's a producer, you know, it's the people who, you know, yeah, you know, the selectors, you know, everyone play their part, you know what I mean? So we just have to know, no one man can do it, no, no two men can do it, you know what I mean? So we just have to stand up for what we want, you know, unity, you know what I mean? We need more love amongst, amongst, amongst artists and musicians, you know what I mean? It's not like one time where we used to look out for each other in the days and we didn't you know what I mean? Where if, if one man, you know, make a, 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 a food or whatever you, you call it, you know what I mean? We're gonna make sure that everyone eat, you know what I mean? So if if I have the bread, you know, I will brought the bread, you know what I mean? Most people don't love to brought bread, you know what I mean? They want it for themselves alone, so you just have to brought bread, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last question. A message for the Costa Rica Reggae Massive and hopefully for the whole world regarding whatever you want, righteousness, living, uh, What's the message, Captain? The message right now. No, the message. Whole. Well, well, the message. The message is love. You know, the message is unity. The message is strength. The message is discipline. The message is diligence. The message is humility. The message is tolerance. The message is self-esteem, self-awareness, self-reliance. The message is self-control. The message is um, wisdom. You know, the message is knowledge. You know, we know knowledge is wisdom. Um, the message is, you know, be yourself. The message is know who you are. The message is know where you're coming from. You know, to know where you're going. The message is you never stoop to the limitation in Babylon. I accept the stripping of the royalty and say yes, it is all good. Babylon will always try to change the fact and claim the divinity. Always remember, never be a traitor or a sellout to your heritage and your culture and your philosophy and your curriculum. And as I said before, you know, we just have to look out for each other, you know. And we have to have to know, say, it's all about love, it's all about peace, it's all about unity. And I always remember, unity is definitely strength, you know what I mean? So, you know, we just have to eradicate poverty, you know, that is one of the main things, you know what I mean? And, and, and all of these, you know, um, these heinous crimes and, you know what I mean? With, with the poverty play a great part, a great role, and ignorance, you know what I mean? Ignorance. So, you know. We just have to know ourselves and we just have to be ourselves. And as I said, we just have to be right within heart. And finally, we just have to know that, you know, always maintain a sound mind, you know, um, a healthy body, you know, and a peaceful soul. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Holy money will like Celestia, Jah, Rastafari, the Almighty. Keep the fire burning and all of your fires for the purification and the preservation of soul. So, ceaseless fire, you know, never stop burning the fire, you know. Yeah. Keep the fire burning. Ooh, fire! Mass fuego! <laughs> Babylon, I get ego! <laughs> <laughs>